Hey everybody, it's Chad from Six Blog. Uh, I just want to do a quick little video today, just kind of introduce you to this filter. Um, this is the Renovo Water Trio 3 water filter. Uh, about a week and a half ago, a guy named Bastion from Renovo Water contacted me via email and was uh, asking me, uh, you know, basically if I'd like to check out this filter and stuff, and then one showed up uh, in the mail yesterday. I didn't get to open it up or anything like that, uh, just because I've got a lot of things going on right now. Uh, which is also why I wasn't even sure if I was going to get this thing. Uh, but of course, last night when I did get it before I went to bed, I threw it on my scales. And what impressed me, just to make sure, is that even in the packaging, um, the weight of this filter with the packaging material, and it looks like there's a little book inside it, comes to 3.3 ounces. So I'm willing to say that the, the filter itself is probably going to weigh around 3.1 ounces. Uh, and that's actually a pretty good thing. However, if you've watched any of my other water filter videos or anything, uh, you'll know that uh, what I consider a filter weight is actually going to be a wet weight. Uh, so uh, I'll check that out in just a little bit too. Uh, but anyway, this is the way the filter comes packaged. Uh, it comes in a nice little uh, plastic sealed uh, package. Um, no boxing, nothing like that. I like that it's pretty minimal actually as far as the packaging material. Um, a couple of neat things about this filter, what really drew my attention was that it's 0.05 microns. Uh, it uses a, ho a hollow fiber uh, membrane filter on the inside, and according to the pictures on the side, it looks like you can actually see those fibers. Uh, we'll check that out in just a minute. Um, but as, if, uh, if you keep up with it, um, the Sawyer Mini and Squeeze water filters are some of my, are, are actually they're my favorite water filters that there is. Um, I won't really use any other water filter other than those just because they offer everything I need. Uh, small package, they're lightweight, and they have a 0.1 micron absolute filter inside them. Uh, most filters are going to be probably at least 0.2 microns, uh, and then they, they go on up farther than that. Um, but the cool thing is, is the, the Sawyers offer a absolute filter, which means it absolutely gets all the way down to 0.1 microns. Uh, whereas a nominal filter, um, that means at best. So if it's a 0.2 nominal water filter, that means that at best it's going to get um, 0.2 microns. But that doesn't mean that's what it's going to get all the time. Um, now I asked, I did email Bastion and ask him if this was an absolute rating or a nominal rating. And he said that it was an absolute rating. Um, I'm not sure exactly how they go about rating the filters and stuff, but I'm just taking it for the word. Um, that it is a 0.05 micron hollow fiber filter. Uh, also, it's called the Trio 3 because there's actually three filters, uh, which is common. Uh, a lot of you are probably aware it's going to have a pre-filter on the bottom, uh, the actual hollow fiber filter in the middle, and then a uh, activated charcoal at the top. Um, of course, your pre-filter is going to keep out most of your big debris and stuff like that to help uh, prolong the life of the actual filter. Whereas the filter is actually going to remove everything that you're worried about. The uh, uh, crypto, the giardia, uh, and lots of other smaller little bugs. Uh, and then the actual activated filter is going to remove things like metals or chemicals, things like that. Um, so as packaged, uh, this it looks like it's got a lot of potential. It looks like it's a really nice filter as far as what it can do. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to bust this thing open. I'm going to look at it. I do want to say that... Um, one thing they point out on the website is they say that the activated charcoal, if it's exposed to air, if it's packaged in a box or something like that, the air will actually deactivate the charcoal, which is why they send theirs in a sealed uh, plastic uh, package material. So the, the actual activated charcoal won't actually start deactivating until I open it in just a minute. Also, one other nice thing about this is you can buy free filters, uh, and you can also buy the activated charcoal filters. I'm not sure, I can't remember off the top of my head if you can actually buy the actual filter and replace it. Uh, but it's nice because you can replace things as they wear out. Um, one other thing I guess I need to say is uh, this has a 1,000 liter um, capacity on it. Um, that is a little bit short of the, uh, the minis, uh, which is 100,000 gallons. Uh, or even the squeeze, which is a million gallons. However, honestly, a thousand liters, um, that's a lot of water. Uh, I'm not saying that a hiker's not going to go through that on something like a through hike or anything, um, but 
a thousand liters is a lot of water, especially someone like me that's more of a weekend warrior. Um, so anyway, uh, I've been blabbing enough about it, so let's go ahead and open this thing up and actually check it out. So there it is. The first thing I want to do is get an actual weight on the filter itself. And 3.1 ounces is what it is, 87 grams. So that's not actually too bad considering what all it is. So let's see the top here. Now uh, there are a couple of ways, three ways that they show on the bag that you can use it as a gravity filter. You would just hook your tubing to the little nipple uh, that's inside there. Um, you could also uh, hook it up as a bottle filter, it says, or a straw filter. Um, so what it's, they're saying is you can put a tube on the nipple there and use it as a gravity filter, or you can screw this onto a bottle um, and kind of squeeze it out, um, or you can actually hook it onto a bottle and drink through the straw. Um, so those are three different ways to use it. There may be more. It's just something you'll have to check out. So let's see here. We take off the bottle, the bottom, and there's the little pre-filter. It just looks like a little disc. So that's probably something that you could probably make yourself of coffee filters or something. Just cut it, stick it back in there. Um, and then it is pretty cool. I don't know if the camera's focusing on that, but you can actually see the hollow fiber membranes inside there. So that's pretty cool. So what it looks like is, as the water comes in, it's actually going to soak into those tubes, and then when it goes into all the tubes, that's where it's going to come out the top here, and come out the top there. So, so there you go. Um, so that's pretty cool. I've, uh, that's the same sort of, as far as I understand, the same sort of filter that's in the Mini, um, but you just don't get to cool it, see it like that. It's pretty cool. Um, so anyway, that's it. I would weigh all these pieces separate, but uh, not too worried about that. Um, I don't see how you could use it um, without this. You may be able to put something to adapt that there um, and cut down some weight. Just, heck, why not? Just this part here is 1.9 ounces. So if you can figure out a way to modify this some way, um, or heck, if you just wanted to, um, you didn't even have to have nothing, I would assume. You could put a filter or a tube there and just let it fall out. As long as you got something big enough to catch it in, like maybe a, a Gatorade bottle or a uh, wide mouth Nalgene canteen or something, um, that would probably be all you need to, to do. And you could cut back on all this if you didn't want it. However, in my opinion, if that's all you wanted was just the filter itself, um, my opinion would be to go with the Mini. Uh, just because the Mini is even lighter than this, wet um, and it is a little bit smaller um, also one thing I didn't mention cost on this it's listed at $43.99 retail oh I didn't see this they add a few more uh, pre filters in there so that's pretty nice so anyway go ahead and put this back together one thing I guess you could do um, is make sure I'm doing this right I think I'm not uh, you could leave that off maybe, save just a little bit of weight. Um, that brings this down to 2.6 ounces the way it is. Uh, if you don't want to have to worry about having the cap on there. Okay guys, I just did uh, a couple more minutes of video and realized my camera had shut off. Um, battery was dead. So, um, just to let you know what happened, I went ahead and tried the filter on some platypus bags and in my opinion they didn't seem to screw on quite as well as I wanted them to although I've, I know I've seen some folks use uh, platys with sawyers and in my opinion they didn't fit those either but they used them anyway uh, I brought my Evernew bag I'm gonna check that out in just a second um, but I went ahead and I filtered a liter of water out of this platy uh, into a bowl and it took me about a minute to get a liter of water through the filter, which is not too bad in my opinion. Um, of course, that was squeezing the bag. It wasn't, um, you know, just letting it completely gravity flow through there. Um, and what I've done is I've went outside and I've shook the water filter um, violently, just the same way I do with my um, my Sawyer filters um, before I put them back in my pack. 
and my, my wet weight on this thing is now 3.7 ounces or 106 grams and if I remember correctly the dry weight was 3.1 ounces or 87 grams um, so it's added about 0 0.5, 0 0.6 ounces um, as far as wet weight is concerned so um, still under 4 ounces wet not too bad in my opinion considering um, you know it's got the activated charcoal in there which is nice at times um, however it's not necessarily a necessity but anyway um, let me just try it here on this ever new bag just kind of see how it fits man and that don't seem right either opinion it doesn't screw onto the Evernew bag too well. I'm not sure. And then this is the platy. Honestly I think it screws onto the platy a little better than it does the Evernew but uh, I don't know if you can tell anything from that but that is still not exactly straight like I would want it to be. It seems like it's kind of crooked and it's not fitting on them real well. So, uh, one thing I noticed is there's not a, a washer or a gasket inside here, or at least a rubber gasket like on the Sawyers. Instead, I don't know if you can see, um, but there is like a ring uh, inside there that looks like it kind of seals off the, uh, the opening inside there. That probably doesn't make sense, and if you can't see that, it's probably not helping a bit. But... Um, it is what it is. Real quick, just want to show you what the string looks like on this thing. I'm going to screw it back on this platy. Um, I think it fits this platy a little better than the other platy. And just so you know, I bought this one about uh, eight or nine months ago, and this one is probably about three years old. So there is a time difference. Obviously, it seems like, according to some people, that um, a platy push changes their threads around on occasion. One thing I noticed too is that um, if I'm using it like this, the cap gets in the way, uh, in my opinion. I mean, it's kind of out of the way there, but all together, it's, it's uh, kind of in the way. I don't really like it. Um, anyway, just kind of show you the stream on it there. So it's not too bad. So, um, just by gravity, hooked straight up to the bag. Although my bag is almost empty. Uh, maybe if it was a little more full it would be better than that. Um, Drinking through it like that is not too bad. Uh, it's not as simple as just drinking through a straw, but um, I wouldn't expect it to be. So anyway, that is the Renovo Trio 3 water filter. Just kind of wanted to do a video and show you that. Of course, at the beginning I said it was going to be a quick video, um, but anybody that's watched my videos knows that I was lying. Not that I did it intentionally, but... It's just the way it always works out. So, the Renovo water filter. Um, like I said, it's got some nice qualities to it. Got some other things that maybe something like this would beat out. Um, it's just up to you to decide, you know, um, what it is that you're looking for in a water filter. But it's nice that there's another option on the market. Um, so anyway, uh, I appreciate you watching. If you have any comments, questions, you can post them below. Or you can head over to uh, RenovoWater.com maybe. Uh, I think that might be the link. Um, and you can shoot those guys over there an email, and I'm sure they'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. And guys, I appreciate you watching. See you later.